Good morning guys. Today we are here at Santa Barbara, California, a beautiful California beach city. We're gonna check out the downtown area and the wharf. Right now, behind me, you guys can see all these boats. We're at a harbor. Let's check that out first. Santa Barbara, located between San Francisco and Los Angeles, California. This coastal city is rich with Spanish influence and Indian heritage. With the backdrop being the San Yanez Mountains and the foreground being the Pacific Ocean, there's a reason why online bloggers and YouTubers alike rave about this coastal city in California. Something about the best view in Santa Barbara now open and free? Okay. Windows open. Oh, hi. The best view? So far, I think that is right. Wow. Really like the view in the background of the hills. And then downtown is somewhere down that way. And then the wharf we'll be checking out is right over there. An interesting fact, if uh, you guys didn't know, we're right here, Santa Barbara. There are these islands right here. One, two, three, four. They're called the Channel Islands, but it's a national park. Really interesting, cool thing about them is that you can actually go camping and you can hike along with sail around and see what the wildlife looks like in that area. Of course, you have whale watching. Santa Barbara Harbor where you can find many ocean activities such as deep sea fishing, whale watching, scuba diving, and whatever else you can think of. No friggin' way. You guys see this? Seacoast Yachts Sail? You can buy your very own yacht. You have two choices. Do you want the one for $595,000? Or do you want the cheaper one for $525,000? That's a steal, I tell ya. Oh, oh, wow. Holy crapperonis. So the water does literally hit the wall and go up a couple feet, maybe like five feet high. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, whoa, yeah, I'm gonna jump off. At the end of the barrier is a friggin' beach. No way. That is cool. Three doggos having the time of their lives. At the end of this water break, we can see that the pier is just up ahead, except we can't get over there from here. There's no crossing. And downtown, straight ahead. Let's head over there right now. Oh, and of course we have a yacht heading out. <laughs> What in the world? Is that a floating house? It definitely looks like it. You got the windows to the right, middle. Oh yeah, it definitely is a home. There are people right there on the porch. We've got the war straight ahead, but we'll say that after we go to the downtown spot, which is somewhere down that way. I think we're in the downtown area now and it does look pretty darn nice with the Spanish architecture style. You can see on the top with the brownish colors for the tiles and then the unique style of that building. Ooh, this is pretty nice looking. All the trees, got that little private area right over there. Just to lounge and enjoy the nice weather. Here we are, Helena Bakery. Whoa, wow, look at the chandelier. That's really, really unique. It has uh, so many different bulbs connected to just one. And then just the inside color. Really, really nice. Oh, 
Oh no, looks like they're out of a bunch of stuff. Came in a bit too late in the day. That bakery ran out of everything. They only had a few items left that didn't look like they were fresh. So the search continues for some food. I thought earlier we were in the downtown area, but this is actually the downtown area. There's a barricade stopping the cars from driving into the pedestrian only spot where it's just lined with food, Sen Foods. Let's go check it out. Measured at just over one mile long, Santa Barbara's downtown district offers block after block of dining, shopping, theater, and health. Health? You mean like hospitals? No, I mean gyms, yoga studios, spa, and salons. Oh, because I might need a hospital after all the food I'm about to eat. Oh yeah, speaking of food, there are over 140 options to choose from, starting at fine dining. But if you have shallow pockets like mine, there's pizza, burgers, and so many more to choose from. And of course, you have my favorites, bakeries and ice cream. Lastly, we have blocks of bars and wineries to choose from. Wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling. All sorts of aromas combined from all these restaurants. Oh, so, so good. Santa Barbara Public Market welcomes you inside. Whoa. All right. Let's. Oh, it smells pretty darn good already. Let's have a look inside. Oh, we got ice cream. Oh, yeah. Winery Pizzeria, that is my kind of food. We got a uh, birria for uh, $6.50. And you may be wondering, Tommy, why'd you get so little? Well, we're gonna be going to the wharf to get some uh, really, really good seafood. Yeah, it's a little toasty. And uh, pork, uh, cilantro, the greens, and onions. Cheers. That is very, very meaty. Very, very meaty. Let's add some uh, juice to this. You can see the juices just filling off the meat. Oh, that is a good stuff. I want another one. Just walk by this building and holy cow, look at how this place looks like. These are baklavas, apparently the traditional walnut and the traditional pistachio are super, super popular. So this is a pistachio baklava. I asked what is a baklava. He said it's pretty much a sweet pastry. Mm. Mm. This is definitely covered with honey, the crust on top. That is really, really good. Oh yeah, we can see the pistachios on the butt end of the baklava. All those crushed bits. Oh my god, this might have the ice cream place we're going to be. We're here. Tondi Gelato. Thank you. Sample, sample. Mm. We got mango. And on the right, on the left, we got hazelnuts. Oh my god, that tastes like a real, real mango. If you thought dining had too many options, well, today is your lucky day. Shopping has even more at over 170 shops, ranging from boutiques to big box stores such as Sephora and Vans. Yeah, that's where I'll be. I mean, Vans, not Sephora. Pasio, Pasio Nouveau. Not sure exactly how to say it, but... This is a shopping center. There is sun shining through, but this is still really nice to just take a walk because it looks so different than uh, other outdoor shopping places. Just because we're in Santa Barbara and the architecture is inspired by Spanish design. We've got another shopping center, alleyway. This one, Reminds me of uh, Europe with all the water fountains. The other one did not have these 
water fountain so it gives you a really nice immersive experience boutique shops boutique shops boutique shops outline this whole shopping downtown area santa barbara we go inside and we can see all this pottery all custom made i'm sure oh wow we're on the wharf and it is a busy 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 day you guys can see all that behind me looks like we got the low riders coming onto the wharf this is a really really nice beach didn't expect it to be like this flat sand and that background view is nice here at stern's wharf you can find the most picturesque views of santa barbara with the san Ynez mountains as its backdrop and get this there's a luxurious 42 passenger yacht that you can book for your next sunset cruise. But I wouldn't happen to know the cost. But if I were to guess, it would be a boatload of money. <laughs> Get it? Boatload? We made it to the backside of the wharf. Oh, we have people fishing. Oh yeah, it's finally a sunny day, which means we can see the Channel Islands. And we finally get a view of Little Toot that takes you from this area all the way back to the harbor. All right, got the food. Ready to eat dinner. This is what we got. It is coconut shrimp for $15.95. With some onion rings and it looks like a coleslaw. This is our table for today. It is a barrel, yes. And then a view to match. How perfect is that? Cheerio, bon appetit. Mm. 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 There are shreds of coconut on this. Oh, we got live fish here. Fresh live fish. A gigantic onion ring as big as my head. Let's try it out. Can you really do that? Mm. That food was super, super fulfilling. I am full. Ah, oh, that is a great way to end our adventure here in beautiful friggin' Santa Barbara. I can't believe it just took me beyond my expectations and just blew it out of the ocean. From this wharf to the harbor to walking downtown, it was just all, all memorable. I would highly suggest checking out this place. I'll see you guys again on the next adventure. Bye.